Hello Aries, Sun and Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Aries, let's go over the overall energy for your reading for today for Aries. So we do have calling in your soulmate and then we also have healing family issues and then we also have getting to know each other. The first thing that came to my mind is I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I feel like there's somebody here that's trying to heal and repair things here with you. Um, or you could very well be trying to heal and repair things here with someone, but I'm getting like the seven of wands all of a sudden so you could be dealing with a leo you might have leo within your chart but the person that this person in particular is trying to heal and repair things with uh they're very very guarded um they're very very guarded right now towards this person in particular it's as if they don't trust this person enough to let them back in all over again is kind of what I'm getting primarily, okay? Um, but let's see what's going on. We're going to focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid, so this could either currently be happening or may be happening at a later date. How does Aries currently view this relationship? Okay. So we have the five of cups, we got the knight of swords, and then we also have the star out here. So something recently happened here between you and whoever it is that you were um, dealing with. Now this could be a family member, this could be a friend. For some of you, this could even be a romantic interest, but something clearly happened here uh, between you uh, and this person. Whatever happened here between you and this person, Aries, I feel like it left you feeling really disappointed, but also really, really upset. Yeah, really disappointed and really, really upset. Whoever this person is that's gravitating towards you, it is somebody who's trying to have a conversation with you. It is somebody who's trying to heal things here with you, but I just, I just feel like you don't want to freaking hear it at this point. You just don't even want to freaking hear it at this point. Um... Okay, let's look at the Knight of Swords. Let's see what's going on. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. Whew. We have the Justice card. And then we have the Queen of Swords. Whatever it is that this person has to say to you, you don't want to freaking hear it. You don't want to hear it. I feel like you're super pissed off at this person. Super pissed off at this person at this point. I don't know what this human did to you, but you don't want nothing to do with them. Absolutely nothing to freaking do with them. Whatever it is that they did, dude, it left you really, really hurt, really, really upset. And I feel like it also kind of pushed you to that point of no return. Like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Um... It's kind of scary seeing an Aries pissed off. My best friend is an Aries. That's kind of scary. It is kind of scary. Um, yeah. I feel like you're trying your hardest. Like, even though you're angry and upset and disappointed, I feel like you're trying your hardest to, like, like breathe. You know what I mean? You're trying your hardest to just, just breathe and not allow your anger to get the best of you in this entire situation. How does this person currently view this relationship? Mm -mm -mm. We got the Ace of Pentacles. We got the uh, Six of Cups. Uh, and then we also have the Six of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Swords. For some of you, you could have definitely shared a home with this person. Um, if you did share a home with this person, I feel like you are kicking this person out. Um, because there is an energy of, you know... Uh, somebody moving so this person could very well be moving to a whole new place um, or they could very well be looking for you know somewhere to live I'm definitely getting that uh, strongly off of their energy which is kind of making me feel like maybe you guys shared a home with one another um, at some point if you guys never shared a home with one another yeah if you guys never shared a home with one another Aries um, I feel like this person um, is just kind of trying their hardest to just move forward and move on uh, with their life. I feel like they're keeping themselves extremely busy slash occupied uh, with work and a bunch of other things just so that way, you know, they're not sitting around thinking about you, right? And this ending that occurred here between you and them, okay? So two, two different storylines there. Um, how does, how does this person currently feel? We have the High Priestess, we got the Five of Swords, and then we also have the Knight of Cups. I feel like this is how they're currently looking at you, High Priestess. I feel like that's how they're currently looking at you. Um, 
right now you're very, very freaking quiet very freaking quiet um i don't feel like you're speaking to this person at all i feel like yes you are severing ties with them for sure um and like i said for those of you who share a home with this person you could have definitely kicked this person out of your home but right now you're very freaking quiet which is leading them to basically think that you're still very much so angry uh and upset with them but i see this person trying you know, to, to reach out to you and, and talk to you and have a conversation with you. Uh, with the Knight of Cups coming out here, this could definitely represent uh, an apology coming from this person to you. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Okay, we got the Ace of Wands, we got the Nine of Cups, and then we also have the Moon. Okay. Like I said, I am definitely getting an apology from them to you. This person might even go as far as to say, yes, that they're sorry and that you deserve a lot, you know, more than what they've been basically giving you. Um, this person may even go as far as to say you deserve somebody better than me because I am definitely getting that off of their energy. So this is, for the most part, them kind of not only admitting to themselves, but also admitting to you that you deserve somebody, you know, way better than them, um, way better than them. So they are acknowledging, you know, obviously where they went wrong. Okay. How does Aries currently feel? All right. So we have the hangman. We have the page of wands. And then we also have the uh, seven of pentacles. So in regards to how you're currently feeling, I feel like you as well are trying your hardest to remain extremely busy slash occupied as well uh, for the same reasons why they're kind of doing it. So that way you're not sitting around thinking about them and everything that happened here between you and them. I just feel like you just don't want this entire situation that just took place between you and this person to stop you from doing what you got to do or even get you down, you know? So you're definitely shifting your focus onto um, your goals, the things that you want to accomplish and achieve for yourself, things of that nature. What actions will Aries take towards this person and moving forward? Okay. True pair situation here, but I'm hold on. I am kind of getting a little bit of a download here. This is only gonna apply. This is only gonna apply to those of you who once upon a time shared a home with this person, okay? I feel like this person intentionally left something behind uh, as an excuse to come back to, you know, your home is kind of what I'm getting. OK, so if this has not let's just say this hasn't happened yet and you really don't ever want to see this person's face ever again, make sure they take all of their belongings, like all of their belongings. So that way they're not at a later date hitting you with the oh i left my sock under the bed let me go grab it real quick you know what i mean because i am definitely getting that that this person intentionally left something behind um as an excuse to like go back to you know your home to see you again to talk to you again you know things of that nature because i am definitely getting that strongly here but in regards to how you plan on um moving forward um yeah, definitely look out for that because I was getting that strongly. Anyways, um, in regards to how you plan on moving forward, for some of you, you may still, um, well, you may be legally married to this person. That's a possibility, especially with the Hierophant High Priestess. Yeah, there's a huge possibility that you may be legally married to this person. If you're not legally married um, to this person, this could just basically represent somebody that you were in a committed relationship with. But I feel like you're really, um, I feel like you're really disappointed Aries, because you know you really did give it your all when it came down to this person, when it came down to this relationship that you once upon a time had with them, and the fact that they just could not reciprocate that back to you in return. Like, it really does suck, and it really does hurt. Um, I also kind of feel like due to this experience that you went through with this person in particular, it's causing you to kind of feel like, yo, what is the point? Like, what is the point of being good what is the point of being loyal what is the point of being trustworthy what is the fucking point if this is just what i'm gonna go through in the end you know what i mean so i unfortunately i do feel i do feel like this entire situation that you went through with this person aries it's actually influencing you to not want to be the good guy anymore because what the hell is the point? You know, that's how you're looking at this entire situation. What the fuck is the point of me being the good guy? This is what it brought me, being the good guy. I don't want to do this anymore. You know what I mean? So there's a huge possibility that this entire experience that you went through might influence you to be the bad guy moving forward. In other words, 
you may not want anything to do with love moving forward. Uh, you may not ever take a person seriously ever again moving forward. You know what I mean? Um, things like that. What actions? We have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Cups, we also have the Two of Pentacles. When this person does decide to reach out to you, they're not going to get too far with you. As far as you're concerned, you don't even want anything to do with this human being. Now, we have the Queen of Pentacles to the uh, Queen of Cups. I feel like this is them juggling two different people. Yeah, I feel like this is them juggling two different people. And these two different people that they're juggling aren't... How do I say this? How do I say this? How do I say this? I want to say, I want to get this right. Um, these two people that they're juggling, it is two people that are very, very serious about this individual. It is two people that want to be with this individual. However, 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 um, I just kind of feel like these people that they're coming into contact with don't really, uh, don't really fit everything that they're looking for within a person. You got to keep in mind that you showed up as a damn hair font, okay? Regardless of your gender, male or female, doesn't matter. You showed up as a hair font. There's levels to this, humans, okay? So we have like, all right, so we have the Queen of Pentacles, right? That um, Not the Queen of Pentacles, sorry. Uh, we have the, and again, don't get caught up in the gender. Nothing's gender specific, all right? Um, but we have the uh, Queen of Wands that comes out first. Then we have the... Um, Queen of Swords that follows, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, then we hit Empress status, and then boom, that's when we hit High Priestess status, right? Um, that's when we also hit Empress status if we're just referring to like the kings, right? In that same order, right? So with that being said, you are somebody who has exceeded this person's expectations. I feel like you've shown this person qualities about yourself that wasn't even on their fucking list of what they want within a person is kind of what I'm getting primarily. So with that being said, yes, they got two people here that are very serious about them and, and wants to be with them and pursue a future with them. But the thing is, is that these people in their eyes anyways, and I'm not saying that that is the case. I'm not saying that that's the case, but in this person's eyes, they look at this queen of pentacles and this queen of cups as two people who aren't better than you are not better than you. You got to understand they're, they're trying to fill the void of you and what they basically had with you. And this person feels like in order to fill that void of you and what they want to spend a time have with you, they have to find someone better than you. The thing is, is that they haven't been able to find someone better than you. Um, so with that being said, they're kind of looking at this queen of pentacles and this queen of cups like, yeah, they're all right. They're okay. Like, I know if I wanted to go off and be with them, I could totally do that, but I don't want to because... They're not like Aries. They they, they, just, they just can't fucking top Aries. You know what I mean? Their whole thing is I want to find somebody better than Aries. Better than Aries. And unfortunately, it, it kind of looks like they haven't necessarily been able to find anyone better than you. Which, can I say, can I say, let me say it. I understand that they want either someone like you or someone better than you, but I don't really see the point in why they want someone better than you or someone like you, especially when they couldn't clearly appreciate someone like you to begin with. I don't really see the point in that. In my personal opinion, um, what is the fucking point? I don't get the point. Like, if they clearly couldn't keep their relationship with you intact and aflow if they clearly couldn't show up in the ways that they should have definitely showed up when they were with you what is the point of actively seeking for someone like Aries or better than Aries what is the damn point you know what I mean what is the point I don't get it what is the point you know what I mean and I get it. I, I I have a rough idea as to why they want someone like you or someone better than you I get it because they just want to fill the void of you and they feel like in order to do that they would have to find either someone like you and on your level or someone better than you. I get that, but I mean, again, for what? I mean, if they couldn't even maintain their relationship with you, if they couldn't even keep their relationship with you in type of flow, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with someone like you or better than you. I don't know what they're going to do then, but um, I guess, I mean, I guess we'll see. I mean, I don't know. Um, unfortunately, they're not going to have um, the best of luck 
in love in the sense where they're not going to find themselves coming into contact with someone like you is basically what I'm getting because you're one of a kind. Nobody in this life can replace you, okay? So we have very soon, we also have deception and then we also have keep an open mind. I kind of feel like this advice is for the, the, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Um, I think that, you know, this is just Spirit's way of advising them that this person that you're dealing with, yeah, they don't really have your best interest at heart, nor do they even foresee themselves having a future with you or, or with the both of you is basically what I'm getting. Um, and I feel like Spirit's trying to open their eyes to that and get them to basically realize that because they're juggling two different people. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.